often about spotting patterns. And in music, patterns often arise from rhythms. So rhythmic patterns set up a feeling for a piece such as this famous rhythm. From Bizet's Carmen. Rhythm is a form of abstraction from music because we've abstracted away the pitches and are just thinking about the rhythm. And if we do that, we can spot similarities between different pieces of music. For example, if I take the Bach prelude in G minor from book two of the Well-Tempered Clavier and just cheat a bit and play it in a different key, we get this. We can now hear that it's very similar to this piece by Schumann. Im Rhein, im Strome, da spiegelt sich in den Wellen mit seinem This rhythm is called a dotted rhythm because when we write it in music notation, it has a dot on the first note to show that the first note is longer than the second note. And it's a precise amount longer. The first note takes up three quarters of the beat and the second note takes up one quarter of the beat. And so we can show this fraction by coloring in three quarters of this space in red and one quarter in blue. And it makes it sound kind of snappy. a different fraction such as two-thirds and a third, here's what the picture would look like with two-thirds of the space in red and one-third in blue. And it would give us a much more relaxed kind of rhythm in the music like this. Composers often use those thirds, or triplets as they're called, to give a more relaxed feeling, often in some kind of lullaby, such as in this piece by Wagner. started dividing beats into more complicated numbers like fives. Chopin is one composer who loved using fives. In this nocturne, it starts just using twos and fours as normal. And then goes into a five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, in the middle section, he does the whole thing in fives, which is a bit of a nightmare for the pianist. We have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Five is a prime number, which means that we can't divide it into smaller parts. And it kind of obscures the sense of rhythm in the piece, which is often why composers use it to give a more hazy, dreamy, sort of feeling. So it turns out that different fractions give us different feelings in music. Who knew that fractions could give us feelings?